Hi guys, welcome back. This is part three of Let's Play Dishonored. I hope you all enjoy. And before we leave here, I forgot to go up there and get the rest of my money. I forgot to pick up. So we want to use Blink. To go up here. And grab whatever's in here. Book. What's that say? Elementary sums. History of the Isles. Geography of the Isles. Book. Seven strictures. Litany of the White Cliff. Sayings of the Overseer. One day we'll get a few new books. Okay. I was going to speak to Samuel. He'll take us to the next mission. Ready to go? Yep. Just give the signal. Let's get going. So this is the first mission proper coming up. It's been tutorial up until now. straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Which is worse? Just take your pick. Let's do all of them. Eat that. Powers. We need three, three runes to upgrade Blink to level two, which means that we can move further with Blink. So we're going to get that first. Let's go. It's nearly midnight. But easy, damn it. Keep them in the boat. Canal's got enough shit in it as it is. One down. Fish. That attackers. Did that, yeah. I think that last one What? Yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. So there's a bone charm around here, which is why we're coming. Oops. Oh, that hurt. Good. Keep them coming. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've actually ever missed that in my life. A couple of fried rats. Bone charm, let's see if it's better than the ones that we have. Spirit water. Drinking from faucets. Let's take that. Everything's pretty good though. Think swimming. We don't need swimming as much. But we would like to be able to heal mana as best as we can because we want to use pills a lot. A book. So, I was going to fight these three guys, but now that I've lost health, kind of hesitant. Half the block dead from the plague. Better them than us. At least some of them had money. One, two, three, keys! Somewhere around here. 
He gave up easy. I know you're here. Oh, I'll find you. Can't stay hidden forever. Here you are. Oh. Who's making that noise? Civilian. I'm not going to kill civilians. Attention, because why would you do this that? This is a special announcement from our honourable. Poor Lord guys Regent. are dying of the plague. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. Garbage, garbage, garbage. In addition, All in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan of their services. Is that right? This is Granny Rags. We need as much food as we can get. Hope mm -hmm. she's got some more. Yes, I would indeed. Let's check out this room. See if there's any food. What that? 50 coins. Sleep darts. Probably won't use them that much. Gero Spiritual Remedy, 50 coins. Dead rat. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Me too. The High Overseer is the guy with the red coat that framed us. In case you didn't know that. We're going to get him right now, so let's upgrade Blink. That means that we can teleport for further. And that is useful. I told you then, dear. Is that you, my dear husband? Uh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Ah, oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them, but what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Yes. Yes, I will. Are they gone? Um so give us a mine. Let us in, Granny. Would you look at this? You don't walk in a bottle street looking like that. That outfit must have cost a lot. Maybe I'll let my girlfriend wear it. What the? Huh. It's just a matter of time, buddy. That hurt me through the wall. He's as slippery as hagfish guts. Oh, did he see me? Where are you? Come on, get this guy! He bummed me. Yes, I I should have went outside. Let's see where he's. Ooh, his legs. 
Granny, 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 come out with... Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? I Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Don't remember them, but I'm sure you wouldn't just make that up. I told you the knives go on the left. Another rune, my birthday gift. That's nice. Two out of I hope you like the gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? Yes, that would be a shame. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. She's a creep. But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. Ooh. How many do we have? We have one, so we will wait to upgrade something. Health, hopefully. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The following businesses have been closed here. and impounded by the state due to contamination. Barrows Barbershop and Surgery, the Duke and Dancer Ale House, Merritt's Printing Firm, Pennyworth's Tack and Saddle Emporium so and the Smoke Street Dice Hall. Let's go to Dr. Galvani's and do that task for Granny Rags so that we can get another rune. Because more runes mean more fun. Let's throw this. Uh, these guys are oh, that destroyed it. What's going on? I know what I did wrong. I normally use this one. Turn this off. A Kobe! I think I got a couple of them. Oh! Bone charm in this house here. We shall get it. It shall be. A couple of bad guys down here. <laughs> That's not what we heard. It was just a cold. Are you sure? Because you know we have to check you over. And there's an inspection fee. To the void with Bottle Street and to the void with you. Let me out. Oh, you don't want to talk to us like that. Fact is, Bottle Street. Let's change to the pistol. It's cut. So reach it to your pockets and let. <coughs> Feel like the shotgun Anyone should have killed. There? Hi, hi. Hello. I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. 
Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. I don't know how long you've got left, but... Let's... Wanna look at some of the things I found? Good yes. prices, I swear. Let's see. We want this. We want this. Because I think that's the only place that you can get them. Huh? And we'll pick up this. And we'll loot this house. We should, might, might not be the best idea to eat that stuff in case we need some health. I don't really like to use med kits. Or, uh, potions. Take that. Pick this up. Let's see if it's better than what we have. Plague resistant. No, that's not better. And let's get going. And, um, did I miss anything in here? Don't think so. Who's eating him? Poor guy. Hey, let's go to Doctor Galvani's. Stupid cat. Never saw him. <laughs> to the right. Murder. Where he be? There he's there. Ooh, that up. You know, bite right there. Okay, so let's get. Can we get that? No. Let's get to here. Get to here. Let's go into Dr. Galvani's office. Handle business. Some bread. That will do. Sleep that son. Wait, did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's go this way. Money. Being alcohol or white vinegar. I may have her running away and telling everybody that we're here. But she is a civilian, so we don't really want to kill her. Uh, Galvani lab key. Okay, good. Let's see what's in here. My sweet bedroom. Um, see what I mean? No, I didn't need to read that. It says no added. The most important day of Dr. Galvani's life is the 28th of the 7th. I wonder what that could be for. Probably nothing to do with the big safe that's on the wall, just as we came in the door. I don't think it'll be anything to do with that. But we'll check, just in case. We need to take that. There we go, it opened. Imagine that. 20. I think we got 200 gold there, I wasn't looking. Oh, some bullets. She's snoring. 
There's some guys downstairs, so what we want to do is get onto this dark vision. It's incredibly easy to get these people that are down here. Why are they standing there? Where's the other one? There. Is that a white rat? Nope. Why are they all staying in there? Kinda want them to separate so that we can get them without raising the alarm. Huh? Oops. Let's favourite that. How do we do it? How do we do want that there? Boost that arm like that, but it did make it cooler. The heal up. What's that? Sausage. Traveler's Journal. Load of mints. Well, it's probably a bit of lore for the game, but I've got no interest in reading it. Can't carry any more elixirs. Rats went crazy when they didn't get fed and started eating one another. Let them out. Start chopping them up. So we can come here. Ooh. They would just eat us if we went in just now. Hope there's a white one left. I think we could probably take them now. Any whites? I'd have run away. I don't think there's even that much in here, but. Want that? Twenty coins. Two glass bottles. Nothing. And can't carry any more of those. Let's go. There's a white rat. Let's eat it. Key here. Coin here. Darts, some bullets, some test book, in case it's got anything useful in there. Slackjaw, the leader of the Bottle Street gang. The rat got hit twice. Anything else in here that we need? Don't think so. Let's go up to the top floor. Try and find Dr. Galvani's lab. There's stuff in there, but we don't want to get it. Cleaning instructions. When cleaning my study, I ask that you constrain your efforts strictly to the floors. Please, at all costs, refrain from attempting to clean or arrange my bookshelf. In fact, it would be best to keep away from it altogether. Otherwise, I'll have to reconsider the terms of your employment. P.S. I'll be at the city for a few days. Here's a few weeks' pay, blah, 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 blah. Basically, there's something special about the bookcase. Have a look at it. 
is what that said to him. This is his lab, all sorts of. Let's see, what's this note say? Uh, okay, I don't care if it's important. I'm sure we'll be able to get it again. Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence. Although the experiments there are not complete, Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power? Okay. Let's see what's in here. Nothing much. Not much. This is, I wouldn't really read this one. Uh, I don't know what one it is. Doesn't matter. It does not matter. Oops. Anything else in here? So we'll get this first because we want to. After we've went and done what we need to do in here, a few more enemies show up and we don't want to be smashing stuff when they're here. Nice. Any white rats? Is that a white one? So you could turn, you could have possessed that rat and went in there to get where we need to go, but we don't have to do that. Magic area, secret area. It's in here, elixir, some monies, a book. Okay, so let's get the rat viscera. Mission clues updated. Contaminating the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still with plague rat viscera will infect anyone who drinks the elixir with the plague. That includes the Bottle Street Gang and the people who buy their black market elixir. Okay. Well, anyway, that's all we've got time for in this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.